What's up, YouTube? Okay, guys, one of my private clients just got into a few DO schools. He's holding out for an MD school, and he keeps asking me, does it really matter if I get an MD or if I get a DO? Is this going to affect my life? Is it going to ruin my life? What's going to happen to me? So this person I'm working with is very complicated. He's older, career change, second time applying, had some difficulties with, um, like, taking the MCAT and doing well, lots of complexity, very hard person that I'm working with, but we really put in a ton of effort and now he's holding two DO acceptances. He will be a doctor at the end of the day. This is fantastic, right? So does it make a difference? I'm just gonna tell you the answer now. No, it does not. You can try to argue, please do. I will be happy to rebuttal you, but let me tell you why. As a guy who has been through academics, runs a private practice, works with hundreds of doctors in the community who are MDs and DOs, sees how they practice in real life. Let me tell you so you can hopefully lower some of this anxiety. The suffering that my uh, client that I'm working with is feeling, I had to bring him more calm and I'm like, I might as well tell all of you guys because this is the season where you feel that and hopefully you feel more calm too. Um, there was this article that you know, he had sent to me. He's like, what do you think of this article? You know, is it accurate? Um, you know, the key differences between going MD or DO, this article is okay. Uh, pretty much what the article is going to say is it doesn't matter, but let me, but it's kind of not as good as me. Let me just tell you why I think it doesn't matter. Number one, end of the day, if you want to be a physician in the United States, you can be an MD or a DO, and it's all the same. When you're seeing patients in a hospital, Medicare, Blue Cross, um, Caloptima, uh, Kaiser, no insurance cares because insurance pays doctors and health plans and health groups. No one's like, oh, is this an MD or DO? Are we going to pay you? No, it's all the same. Do you hold a medical license, MD or DO? Yes, then you can see patients and take care of them. So from a logistical perspective, the real world does not care. You can be an MD or DO and get credentialed at a hospital, start a clinic, see patients, get reimbursed by insurances. It's all the same. So on a practical level, you now know, okay, it's the same. It does not matter. Everyone's treated equally. Now, what about the training pathway? Okay, as this article, if you get bored and want to read it, um, there is difference in training. If you're an MD, you're going to take the USMLE exam. If you're in a DO school, you're going to take the COMLEX exam. They're extremely similar. Um, and here, I mean, you can see in the article, um, the only big, oh wow, this article isn't even loading, wonderful. Um, can I hit like this? I don't know. Uh, did I refresh it? Look at me, I'm so hacker. Um, <laughs> no, the only difference is people who are in a DO program are going to study where is it? Osteop osteopathic, manipulative medicine. Is it in here anywhere? I don't know. Um, that's their, oh, here it is. So they do study what they're calling mind, body, spirit. They do study osteopathic manipulative medicine where they use their hands and like apply some stretching and pressure and resistance. Um, I'm not going to cut, I'm, I'm not going to call it chiropractic because it's not, but they have this unique thing they do. It's very unique to DO programs. I never got to learn it. I heard about it from some friends who did, um, and I don't even know, I, it's not really practiced in modern clinics or hospitals. There may be some unique practices like in PEDS or some internal medicine people that are very maybe enthusiastic about it and will use this osteopathic manipulative treatment, but I don't think it's all over the place. Um, so even that, the one key extra training that they get is not ubiquitous and everywhere and pushed. It's very small. So overall, it's about the same. So say you're in medical school, you're training, we're all studying probably the same stuff, uh, first aid, U world, open diagnostics with me, uh, you get my point. We're all studying the same stuff and they have a little bit of extra for their complex with the OMT. Then you gotta apply to residency. This is what everyone worries about. I want to study something competitive. Can I not do it because I'm a DO? Absolutely. Like, where did you get this horrible idea? You know, again, I'm trying to be polite about it, but like, you need to sometimes be blunt to make the point to people. No, you can totally do anything. I mean, I've been to so many hospitals where I work and trained, and there's DOs and MDs in every specialty. It's not unique. Do most DOs go to family medicine or internal medicine or primary care? Yes. Is that a possible real bias because maybe they chose that path anyways because they want this OMT, they're more primary care focused? Maybe. Uh, but I have met plenty of interventional cardiothoracic, interventional cardiology, neurosurgery, derm, you name it, whatever ENT, whatever you think is competitive. Um, everything is competitive now. Uh, what wasn't is now magically competitive. Um, is full of MDs and DOs. So in real life, no. When I'm out there, 
everybody is everywhere, and MDs and DOs are everywhere. There's not like a real segregation of who's allowed anywhere. No, there's DO ophthalmologists and MD ophthalmologists. It's the same. Neurology has all of them. Every specialty does. It doesn't make a difference. It again comes down to your training. How were your scores? How were your letters? How did your rotations go? Who do you know? Who wrote you a letter? Who are you connected with? Um, how great are you as a trainee? These are the components that, you know, myself and every, I'm sure, uh, school coach tells you, whether we're coaching you to get into med school or coaching you to get into residency or fellowship, it's who you are and what you bring to the table, not your degree. Uh, it's such an insignificant part, essentially. I've sat on a lot of admissions committees, on fellowship, on residency panels, where we help pick people who we want in our program. And realistically, I will tell you from the inside, nobody cares. Okay, I know you'll go on Reddit, I know you'll go on YouTube, I know you'll go on other people, but respectfully, those people are probably wrong because they probably have not sat in as many seats as I have where we realize we want the person. We don't care if they have an MD or a DO. We want the brains, the intelligence, the drive, the passion. That's who you want. Uh, the MD or DO is just two different pathways that were developed. It doesn't make a difference. Um, so long story short, there you go. Now you know. Hopefully you have more peace. You have more calm. You can do any of those schools. And to my... Um, student that I'm working with, I told him, congratulations, you got into two, last year you applied, we were, you know, we were working so hard, you weren't ready. This year, with the whole new program I developed for him, he's now ready, he got into two DO programs, he's still waiting on some MDs, and that's fine. And don't forget, pick a program, if you're holding multiple acceptances, where you will succeed more. Maybe you're closer to family, maybe the school fits you more, maybe you're um, living somewhere more normal to your climate and community and your you know happiness level these common sense things make a huge difference because if you're happy and in the right place um, like I got to go to school in Southern California not too far from my family that was fantastic for me I was happy I was around my community I was just you know good mental dopamine spirits and serotonin so I had a better time in school you don't want to isolate yourself if you don't have to if you get into one school sure fine you know congratulations you're still gonna be a doctor at the end of the day but if you have choices try to pick where you're gonna be happier and just more likely to succeed as a result okay guys I hope you enjoyed this video it doesn't make a difference just be happy you get into a program be happy and proud you get to do something very unique called becoming a doctor and helping people it's a real privilege um, um, and if you want to work with me, send me a message, docwasara at gmail. I can try to help you. Happy to do it. All right, guys, as always, enjoy your studies.